Finding the molar mass of a compound is relatively easy. The molar mass of a single element can be found in the periodic table. An element is generally presented like this in the periodic table, where this number here is the molar mass of the element. The molar mass of a compound is the combined molar mass of the elements that make the compound. As an example, let's find the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Now the molar mass for carbon is 12.0 grams per mole and the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole. Now I have two oxygen atoms so I would have to multiply that number by 2 which would give me 32 grams per mole. Now I then add that to 12 so that the molar mass for CO2 equals then 12.0 plus 2 times 16.0 or 44.0 grams per mole. Now as an, another example we can find the molar mass of glucose. Um, the formula for glucose is C6H12O6 which would then mean we have 6 carbon atoms. 12 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atoms in a single molecule. So the molar mass of, of this compound would be 6 times 12.0 and then 12 times 1.01 which is the molar mass of hydrogen and 6 times 16.0 which gives me 72.0, 12.12 and 96. 96 and I then add these numbers together to get 180.12 grams per mole. So these are, this is the molar mass of, of glucose. Now using the same method I can calculate the molar mass for every compound. Now let's take one more example where we find the molar mass of this compound. So we have a single calcium there. Now this here means that I have two parts of everything that's inside here. So that means I have two nitrogen and I have six oxygen atoms. Now a single calcium has the molar mass of 40.1 grams per mole. Now two nitrogen have the molar mass of two times 14.0 grams per mole and the oxygen means I have 6 times 16.0 grams per mole. Now, like before, I just add these numbers together and I get 164.1 gram per mole. So you see it's really easy to find the molar mass of a compound. I simply need to find the number of each element I have, find the molar mass for that element in the periodic table, find the combined molar mass for each element and then add those numbers together. So if you found this video useful, then by all means you should share it with your fellow students. Have a good day.